And if you want to recover from your loss, another very important point is not to gossip and backbite and slander and not to involve negatively in the lives of others. Don't. Because if that is going to happen, you're going to drop to a new low, which is not going to be helpful for your recovery. Speak good about others. Try and help them up. Say good things, empowering things to them and to others. Look at the positives. Abstain from gossip and backbiting to the degree that excuse yourself from the gatherings in which people are backbiting and gossiping. Learn to excuse yourself. Nothing wrong to say, sorry man, I just need to go. Initially, you might not have told them why you're going. They'll figure it out if you did it once or twice. Because some people don't have the courage to say, you guys are gossiping now. You're talking bad about others. When Allah says, أَيُحِبُّ أَحَدُكُمْ أَنْ يَأْكُلَ لَحْمَ أَخِيهِ مَيْتًا فَكَرِهْتُمُوهُ Allah Almighty speaks about backbiting and what it is equivalent to eating the flesh of your dead brother that is disliked. Allahu Akbar. So there we go. My beloved brothers and sisters, we pray that Allah Almighty grant us goodness and happiness and success. And I pray that Allah grant us a recovery from all our loss. And I pray that Allah Almighty help each and every one of us. Remember, it's not easy to speak about every single example. We're all going through different losses. People have lost financially. People have lost jobs. They've lost loved ones. They've lost limbs. They've lost so much. They have lost a lot. The only thing that seems to be positive when we talk about loss is, hey, I lost some weight, man. Nowadays, backbiting, gossiping and saying bad about others became a norm of the society. Whenever we gather and sit together, we start backbiting about others. We start gossiping about others. We start trying to shaming others. So that's really a bad act. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prohibited, discouraged to do such sort of acts. If you want to recover from your sadness, depression and losses in your life and stop backbiting others, then stop gossiping and saying ill mongering about other, th other people. When you stop doing all these bad acts, when you start repenting, when you start acting good, when you try to be nice with others, when you follow the rules and regulations of Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings change in your life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes life easy for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens the door of sustenance for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you a happy life and you eventually recover from all of your losses.